inside and under the roof tonight here at Rogers Center in Toronto, Ontario. It's the home opener of this new season between the Milwaukee Brewers and the Toronto Blue Jays. Major League Baseball on the show is next. Gene Segura standing in. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. For Milwaukee, the second baseman, Gene and now the first pitch. Fouled off. First pitch, 7 o'clock. And boy, this at bat is not starting off well as he's behind 0 and 2 now. And maybe trying to get him off stride at the plate so he'll step out and ask for time. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. Then the leadoff man is gone to start the evening. So bases are empty with one gone. And that'll bring up Eduardo Escobar. Starts him out with the knuckle curve and he swings through it for strike one. And one and one as this one's in on the hands. One out, nobody on. Now an off speed pitch gets the outside. It's a cold strike. Swing and a little blooper to center. Guriel shading to his right. Two down. Next to stand in is Ryan Zimmerman. Ryan Zimmerman. First pitch of the AB on its way. Josh Bell the next to hit as the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Swing and a miss and he's in the hole 0 2 now. Zimmerman leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Fouled away. You can really tell they're trying to keep the ball in on this big slugger right here. Is that an effort to keep him from getting extended, do you think? Yeah, I think that's the idea, Matt. But he might spin the win if he starts looking for it in there. Carlson gets under it and makes the catch to end the inning. Here's George Springer. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Leading off for the game. The seven fielder, Joe Springer. The pitch. All one, no strike. The 1 0 home. Hey. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch, but if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. And this one's going to bounce up to the plate. An easy take there, and it's three and one now. Three balls and two strikes to the Blue Jays center fielder. And now, in advance of a big three and two pitch, time is called at the plate as he'll press the reset button. Here comes the payoff pitch. Fouls this one off. The next 3 2. And it's fouled away. Once again, a 3 2. And he'll finally just wear him down as this one swung on and missed for the first out. Stepping up is Vladimir Guerrero Jr. First pitch of the AB now. High in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. Bases are empty, one man out. Swing and a miss, and he's quickly in the hole 0 and 2. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. Next up, Marcus Semyon trying to avoid becoming the third strikeout victim of the inning here. Starts him out with the slider for a strike. 
going to be a long day if he executes like this, punching tickets right out of the gate. Simeon in an 0-2 hole That's here. Yeah, hey, this guy's dialed in right now. Two strikeouts and still working ahead. This is going to be a tough test for the offense. And the throw to first will indeed get him. It's a strikeout score at 2-3, to three and the inning is over. Second inning set to go, and digging in is the outfielder, Tyrone Taylor. Wheels and deals, here's the first pitch. It's pretty tough for a hitter to go up there looking for a first pitch changeup, and a good job of dropping it in for strike one. And he falls behind 0-2. Fouled off. And before the 0-2 pitch, he'll step out of the box here to regroup. Into the windup and the pitch. And the knuckle curved that time. Got him swinging, and that's the first out. Now one down with the bases empty. And stepping into the box will be Luis Urias. In there, 0-1. Skied down the left field line. Hernandez is in pursuit. He gets there, and that's the second out. Next, it'll be Willie Adamas. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. Now, here's the first offering. Fouled away. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Swing and a miss on the slider, and he's quickly behind nothing in two. Hey, this is an amazing inning right here. Attacking the zone, keeping his defense invested. Chance to get off the field super quick. Line drive, base hit. And Lorenzo Kane on deck loves to see that. It means he'll hit here as well. And in to hit next is Lorenzo Kane, and he fouls this one off. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. This one's flared out toward left. Coming in is Hernandez, but he can't make the play as it finds the outfield grass. Into the box, Manny Pena. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Simeon's got it. The tag, and he is out. <laughs> Rowdy Tellez, the next to bat. He'll get us going here in the bottom half of the second. Now the first pitch. And he puts it on the ground to second. Segura has it. And there's one away. No one on with one down, and striding into the plate next will be Teoscar Hernandez. Ready to deliver, here comes the first pitch. Started to go around, but it's ruled strike one anyway. Bottom of the second here with no score. Donnie couldn't pull that one back as he clearly broke the plane to the plate, and that'll be ruled a strike. Boy, so far early into this one, this guy's pitching really well. And I'm a big believer in body language. He's getting the ball. He's working really quick, keeping the ball down to the zone. And if you take a look at this guy so far early on, a lot of positive signs. He looks like he brought his good stuff in this one. A ball and two strikes now. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Now with the plate is Lourdes Gurriel. He'll try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Check swing, but he held up in time. Ball one. Two out, nobody on. That's by him for strike one. And a check swing here as he couldn't help himself, and it's ruled strike two. Frozen on strike three for the final out of the inning. Top of the third set to get underway, and that'll bring in the second baseman, Gene Segura. First pitch on the way. 
gets ahead of him here as he got him to swing over the top of this one. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off-speed stuff. And this is low, ball two, two and one. Strike two, swinging just out in front of the slider. Hey, that was a nasty pitch right there. A ton of rotation on that ball. You could almost see the red dot from up here. Nasty depth. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. So bases are empty with one out now, and that'll bring up Eduardo Escobar. First pitch on its way. Third inning, no score to this point. Ball one taken just off the inside. Swing and a liner. But this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. Swing and a flare hit toward right. Here comes the right fielder. He can't get there as it falls in. Here's Ryan Zimmerman now. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Escobar leads off first with one away. And couldn't get his hands through there, and it's one and one. Hey, make no mistake about it. This lineup's going to have to get going and get a little bit more aggressive. This guy's pounding the zone. And here's a fastball, not close, as he runs it to two and one now. Hit the other way out toward right field. Carlson is there, two down. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Josh Bell. He flew out in his last A.B. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on. And we'll just leave it there as they make the play to end the inning. Out of the plate, Dylan Carlson. He'll get us going in the home half of inning number three. Here's the first pitch. Really pulled that one across as the slider misses well inside. Boy, that fastball is just sizzling up there. One and one. Well located fastball right there. If he can continue to do that, he'll pitch deep into this one. And it's fouled away. Here comes the one two it is looked at for ball number two. And a half swing that time but it's a full swing in the eyes of the umpire and that'll be the first out of the inning. So one away in the Toronto third and the big right handed bat of Randall Grichuk saunters into the batter's box next into the corner and slicing foul. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing, our score. Fouled off. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. He's had great command of his pitches all day. I don't mind him trying to go down right there and try and get a swing and a miss, but a nice job by the hitter to lay off that one in the dirt. A two and two count. Here's the pitch. And he is in complete control now. Seven strikeouts as this is swung on and missed for the second out. Number seven. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Reese McGuire stands in as he checks his swing here for strike one. And a check swing here, but he pretty clearly broke the plane, and it's 0-2 now. Trying to strike out the side. Here it is. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. And he got another one here. He strikes out the side. He set down five in a row via the punch out, and the inning is over. 
New inning set to get underway. And next to bat will be the outfielder, Tyrone Taylor. I know we're not seeing a lot of offense in this one, but there's still some game left. I'm looking to see these guys, both offenses, make some notable adjustments at the dish and try and scratch a few runs across. Fastball misses inside. It's even at one. Well, if you love pitching and defense, this has been a game for you. Are you happy with that, Dan? I think this continues for a while, Matt. Both of these pitchers are throwing very well, throwing strikes, having good command of their off-speed pitches. This is going to be one of those low-scoring affairs. Drill down the line. And this will stay inside the third base bag. A fair ball. The third base bag. And that'll bring forth Luis Urias as he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Now a ball grounded to short. This could be two. There's one. On to first, and they turn the double play. Ready now is Willie Adamas. He singled first time up. Now here's the pitch. Fouled away. And that's inside off the plate with the fastball. It's one and one. Hit high and deep to right center. Right fielder is on the run. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and digging in is the big-time power threat, George Springer. And he'll step off and try again. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. The 1 0. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Hey guys, that fastball just registered 97 miles an hour on a night like tonight where it's super cold out. If you don't get to head to that baseball right there and you get jammed, it's almost like getting stung by a pack of wasps. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. I know he missed with a fastball right there, but this guy's arsenal, you can't figure out what he's trying to do. He's got a lot of different directions he could go in right here. And he fouls this one off. And a full count to George Springer. It's three and two. He's definitely going to want to get greedy in his own, and he's obviously seeing the ball well, or he would have swung at that pitch. Sometimes in these long, epic at bats, you start to get into swing mode. So he gets the swinging strikeout on the changeup. George Springer becomes the first out in the bottom of the fourth inning. Tried to check it, and it's 0 and 1. No runs, no hits, and no errors in the game for Toronto. Crowds him a bit with a fastball there, and it's to one and one. And a check swing here as he couldn't help himself, and it's ruled strike two. Able to protect the plate with two strikes, and he'll see another one. Another one two delivery. That's ball two. Man, this guy's a grinder. Fouls off good pitches and doesn't seem to swing at the ones just off the corner. This guy's a pitcher's nightmare. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a three-two change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. And a changeup couldn't get him to bite, and it's ball four. One out, runner at first, and up next a Berkeley area native, Marcus Simeon. From the stretch. The 1 0. 
hit in the air to center field. Kane is under it. Two gone. Next to bat for Toronto, Rowdy Tellez grounded out in his last at bat. Now the first pitch. Ball. Ball one, no strike. Guerrero, the runner at first with two gone. Eight. Called strike two. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. And he will strike him out. Ten now in the ball game, and the inning is over. All ready to go in the top of the fifth, and that'll bring up Lorenzo Cain. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Here's a fly ball, well hit. Ranging back is Hernandez. On the warning track, he makes the catch. So one out and nobody aboard. And up next is the catcher, Manny Pena. First pitch on the way. The wind up and the 0-1. Boy, that's one of the toughest pitches to lay off. A hard breaking ball at the back foot. Tough take on a terrific pitch. Up in the zone for him, and he takes a cold strike two. Got him swinging in the dirt. McGuire recovers and he makes the throw to first. Kenya is retired, two down now. So it's back to the top of the order now, and that'll bring in the middle infielder, Gene Segura. Here's the first pitch. The wind up and the 0 1. Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. Line softly toward the hole. Throw not in time as he's able to leg it out. So here's Eduardo Escobar as he'll get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. He's one for two in this one. Oh, and a good tight slider there, and he's in command, nothing in two. Now he'll step out at the plate and reassess things here. Here it comes on nothing in two. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Springer finds some space out there for the catch to retire the side. So that'll bring in Teoscar Hernandez. 0 for 1 for him here. We're in this one. The left field. Day off, sir. First offering. As he'll pop this one foul off to the left and out of play. Here comes the 0 1. And it's fouled away. And he struck him out. And there's strikeout number 11 in the ballgame. Stepping in next, Lourdes Guriel. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Checked his swing there. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. Ball one. Now a big fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. Fouled off. Uh, and he's just rolling right now, and even dozen strikeouts for him in the ball game. Into the box, Dylan Carlson. Two outs already on the K this inning, so he'll be looking to do better. Swing and a miss, and he's behind 0 and 1. 
This lineup is flailing right now. They're having a hard time just making contact, let alone putting the ball in play. Now a swinging bunt. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Well, that's a smart miss there. Sometimes guys will chase it down there, especially when they're in protect mode on an 0-2 count. And no trouble for him as he makes the catch to end the inning. Striding forward now is the D.H. Ryan Zimmerman. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. First pitch on its way. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-1. Behind 0-2 now. Nothing in two count. And the pitch. Lifted in the air to right field. And the sixth inning opens with a flyout. One away. So that will bring up Josh Bell. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Good slider there. Gets a swing and miss. His slider's been impressive all night long. If he can continue spinning it like that, he's going to be just fine. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Starts to go around, but the home plate umpire says he held up ball two. No runs on six hits and no errors on the Milwaukee line score so far. Still two and two. Had to wait back on the changeup, and he did a good job just to make contact. Ready with another 2 2. A great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one, and he's down on strikes for the second out. Next for Milwaukee, Tyrone Taylor. It was a base hit last time up. Right through it here, and he's behind 0 1. And that misses 1 and 1. Now the pitch. Simeon onto the grass. He's got it. A great running play, and that'll retire the side. Bottom of the inning now, and digging in is the veteran D.H. Rendell Gritcher. Rendell. Now the first pitch. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Inside, ball one. Out in front here is this one scorched foul to the left. Trying to send him packing for the second time. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. You do not want to walk the eight-hole hitter. It just opens up so many options. Do we bunt him over to second with the nine-hole hitter? Do we try and play for that big rally with the top of the order coming up? This is a huge pitch. You can't allow this guy to walk. And he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight-pitch at-bat. At the plate now is Reese McGuire struck out in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, but it was a good change up, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. Now time is called, and this could very well be to buy a few more pitches for those relievers. Richards, a six foot two inch right hander, jogs in to take over on the mound. 
Number 33, Trevor Richards. Here's the first pitch to him. One out, nobody on. Can't sit back long enough, and the count evens up at one and one. Now the pitch. And they'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. And he lays off again, ball three. That's a good pitch to lay off right there, that cutter inside. And that is a real tough pitch for hitters to lay off of. And a lot of times, if you do swing at that cutter in, you're going to end up with some firewood in a broken bat. Popped up. Adamas is there for it. And that's the second out of the inning. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, George Springer. No hits to this point. He's set. Here it comes. Fouled away. Hey, if he's going to execute that curveball, and that's the first one of the day, if he's going to execute it like that, be on the lookout for that one. That's going to be a big pitch for him today. Behind 0-2 now. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. Hey, they tried to tie him up on that last pitch, so I like that they went away with this one. But we'll have to press pause as that strike three to retire the side. Stepping in once again is Luis Urias. He was a double play victim last time around. He doesn't have to worry about that in this situation, Matty. No one on base right now. Try and get something up so you can drive the baseball. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Wow, this guy has been on top of it today. Pushing the throttle and pulling it when he needs to. Breaking ball swung on in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. Urias is retired, and there's one away. So next to bat will be Willie Adamas. He's working on a one-for-two game so far. Swing and a miss that time. It's 0-1. What a performance so far. Throwing first pitch strikes to 90% of the batters. It's hard to get any better than that. Waiting on it is Hernandez. And he makes the catch for the second out. So here is Lorenzo Kane who flew out last time up. Here's the first pitch. And he swings right over the top of this one. Nothing in one. Sometimes you just got to laugh at yourself. Hitting's the hardest thing to do in all of sport. You take an ugly swing like that, take a deep breath, step out, smile about it and get back in that box and try and do damage. One and two here it comes. Hit on the ground to third scooped up. On to first and this will remain a tie ball game as the inning is over. half of the seventh here and set to go is the third baseman Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Ready to deliver here comes the first pitch now a check swing but it's strike one anyway says the home plate umpire. Down and away ball one. Hit in the air down the right field line. There to haul it in is Escobar, and that's the first out. Next to dig in, Marcus Simeon. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. First pitch of the AB on its way. And he waves at a curveball there. No balls and a strike. A ball and a strike. Yeah, that looked like a strike, but let me tell you. When you're staring at a big zero in the hit column, getting a call like that to go your way can feel like a big victory. And he'll 
lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. Out in front there as this one's pulled off to the left side. Full count now, three and two. Three two counts are usually a time to challenge the hitter, but I think he'll be careful here. Shoot for the corner, and if you miss and you walk him, so what? That's better than him putting one in the seats. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Marcus Semyon becomes the second out of the bottom of the seventh. No balls in one strike. Comes set and the 0 1. Strike two. Breaking ball called just a bit low. Don't be shocked if he doesn't go right back to that same pitch. You could tell he jelly legged him at the plate a little bit, froze him, but just missed the zone. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. He might have to look for a different way to put this guy away on 2 2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times, so he might be looking for it. Now an off speed pitch well inside and it forces him to bounce away from danger. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. Now here's a swing by Tellez as he gets a lot of this one out to deep right field. Adios pelota. Now back left field. Hunter Strickland takes over pitching duties looking to get that final out now here in this seventh inning. Oscar Hernandez digging in now as he'll take a look at ball one. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. Looked like he was going to wait him out, see if he was going to come over the heart of the plate. Well, newsflash, he is, and this hitter is going to adjust his batting gloves, and he better be ready in the box. The one two is outside for a ball. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. Ready to begin the eighth. And up next is the catcher, Manny Pena. The catcher, number nine. Manny Pena. Third baseman hugging the line here. Now the first pitch. As he'll look at a slider that runs in too far for ball one. You know, because this is just a one-run game, this doesn't strike me as a situation where he's going to be working around a guy. I think he's going to challenge him right here. Just lucky to make contact on that one as it's chopped foul. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. Hit down the third baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Swing and a blooper to the right side. Guriel onto the grass. He gets there and makes the play for the first down. And that'll bring up Gene Segura. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Julian Merriweather gets the call as he'll pitch with one gone in the top of the eighth. Number 67. Julian. First offering. And that's cut on and missed 0 and 1. Bases are empty, one man out. 
swing and a miss. It's 0-2. Hey, doubled up on breaking balls there outside. Now might be the time to bust that fastball in. Swung on in the dirt for the third strike. McGuire reaches out for the tag, and there are two away now. So two gone now in the Brewers' half of the eighth, and that'll bring up Eduardo Escobar. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And he fouls this one off. Bases are empty here with two men out. Swing and a high fly ball out to left field. Looking up is Hernandez. You can kiss it goodbye. Now back. Designated. At the plate, Ryan Zimmerman. And it's fouled away. He's working on a one for three thus far. Into the wind, the 0 1. Two out, nobody on. Popped him up. Tellez has room in foul territory, and he's got it for the final out of the frame. Bottom of inning number eight set to go, and set to go is the second baseman, Lourdes Gurriel. Lourdes Gurriel. Now time is called here as we'll get a trip to the mound. Devin Williams is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 38, Devin Williams. Now he'll step off. First pitch on its way. Now that's popped up. Pina is out of the crouch and he stays with it for route number one. Stepping in for the Jays, Dylan Carlson, 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. And the pitch. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. Big fastball is definitely this guy's M.O. coming out of the bullpen. And a check swing here as he couldn't help himself, and it's ruled strike two. Now here's the pitch. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Here's Randall Gritchick. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. First pitch on its way. And he jumps at a changeup, a swing and a miss. This offense has just been flailing at the plate all game long, so it's no wonder why they've only been able to pick up one hit so far. I'm not seeing much of a game plan from these hitters. The windup and the 0-2. And that's his strikeout pitch right there. You know, you'll see a lot of guys swing right over the top of that one. But in this situation, he was able to hold back. That's a nice take. Tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first and no swing. It's ball two. Into the windup. The 2 2 pitch. Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. Striding forward now, the Brewers cleanup hitter, Josh Bell. No thump out of him in this game so far, as might be expected. He's 0 for 3. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. The windup and the 0 1. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. And a big pitch coming here late, so he'll step out and ask for time. 
tried to get him to go after the slider, but it's one and two. And the slider is low and inside as he just about got him there. Well, he kind of got caught chasing the first two pitches out of the strike zone. But I think he's caught on to their game a little bit right now. Two tough pitches that he took with two strikes. And now the count is two and two. Into the windup and the pitch. Down the first baseline. Fielded cleanly. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Next up is Tyrone Taylor. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Narvaez steps into the on deck circle now looking to start something here with one gun in the inning. Number 58 gets the call from the bullpen to pitch in relief. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Ready with the 1 0 pitch. Now a half swing here as he wanted to pull it back, but he does so too late. It's strike one. Fouled off. And every pitch so crucial in a tie ball game, so he'll step out and ask for time. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. And now here is Luis Urias. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. First delivery to him. Hits it high and deep out to center field. Back goes Springer to the track. You can kiss it goodbye. Standing in now, Willie Adamas. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Fastball misses inside. It's even at one. Grounded slowly to the left side. Reined in. Off balance throw. Gets him. Nice play there as the side is retired. Set for the bottom of the ninth. And next to hit is the catcher, Reese McGuire. The catcher, number seven.
Corey Dickerson will pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. Number 23, Corey Dickerson. Now time is called, and this might be to buy a little time for that reliever to get loose. Josh Hader is the man called on to close this one and earn a save in the ninth. Danny Jansen will come on now as the pinch hitter. Pinch hitting for the blue ball. Number nine. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Fly ball right down the line and left. And the pinch hitter is retired here, one away. George Springer, the next to hit, he went down on strikes in his last at bat. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Hey, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, that's right where you want to miss. Any lower, and he'll probably make you pay for it. Reached for and popped into the air, back behind second. Segura is there, and quickly two are gone here, and it's not looking good for the home nine. And stepping in, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. He set and the pitch. Hey! You know, some guys just don't like pulling the trigger in a 0-0 count. They don't like the ambush tactic. They like to calibrate the speed, maybe pick up the break. They want to know everything your ball does before they pull the trigger. Now the one and one pitch. Makes him swing and miss on a ball out of the zone for strike two. And he'll step out and ask for time. Maybe trying to get this pitcher out of the rhythm he's in right now. Final strike for the Blue Jays. Fouled away. Those are the pitches in the game that you don't get back as an offensive player. I know it's easy sitting up here in the booth. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Well, that's just a great job of battling on the road. They fought all the way to the end, took the lead in the top of the ninth, and secured the W in the bottom half. That's a great team win. Close one tonight, 2-1 to one the final score. Milwaukee came through when it mattered in the ninth on the way to the win. Devin Williams takes home the win. So that'll do it for us. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to the new website, theshow.com. Final lines.